Hello everyone, Zero here. Well, I'm at the Bunner's Grand Power of King Bomb. In the last video, we did some stuff around, well, Sand Mountain. And in this video, we are going to continue said stuff. As in doing some road destruction, sock collecting, and of course, time trials. And just so you know, the time trial is the only thing that's required for SpongeBob to do. You can destroy the roads to Sandy if you want to. But remember, the time trials are turned up only. You can do this, you can also do the slack side quest if you want to. And we're gonna try that again to start off the video because this sock is really annoying. Let's go this way first. No, I'm gonna go this way again. I mess up. Just watch, I am gonna go this way again. Alright, so I believe I found the last area for a snowman. Gotta be your bombs. Alright. Sort of science for no reason. There's last section right here. These guys. There. Boom. One more. And that should be a piece. No, man. Well, almost not all of them. You just go right here. Oh, go to the left here because. Snowman. Ow. Ow. Just gonna go game pain. So much pain. Need to heal. I feel like a new spot. There we go. All right. What are you guys at the top of the mountain? I swear you were. Yeah, those are they're up here. How did you guys get down so fast? Are you guys psychic or something? Tell me now. Okay. We got this. Your rest of snowmen are. Should be good. Another drill. We can't die. If we die, it's all over. There we go. Go to the right. Now, Sandy makes certain sections just easier because of her lasso or jump. Like, there's gaps so easily and, you know, get snowmen onto her paths. Dude, that way you'll take less time. But, I'm going to do this one, I guess, why not? Alright. You guys know where the last snowman is? It's at the last section. If you go straight instead of left or right. But seriously. Isn't it strange that there's random stuff on that on the end that at the end is slope and no one's doing anything about it? I mean, seriously. Only a sand or snow, that'd be awesome. But then again, there'd be some ground on it too. But yeah. And there we go, let's do this. Boom! Sandman destroyed! Collect your voice and die on the slope. 
other Sandmen. Get it? Because it's a snowman made of sand. And yeah, a reward. A sock. That brings us to 7 out of 10 socks. There's only one thing left to do. That's our hill. Ain't no waste time. I'm slicking fast. If you can beat my time down the hill, I'll give you a golden spatula. Let's do it. Two minutes, one second. I like how the music is changing. Alright. What does it mean? Being down there within two minutes and one second. Now, the thing is, if we die, the Sandmen will not respond, thankfully. In this case, why do we do the time challenge over again? So. That's where you start right there. Ah. With spikes in the ground. Oh, that's really painful because we're using our tongue as a way down the hill. All right. Oh man, this is the third time we've been down this mountain. And the music is still looping. Jeez. That's a strange glitch. We use it to slide multiple times and the music just loop. That's kind of strange. But okay. Alright. Almost there. More in the wear, yay! Are we gonna lose it? Are we gonna lose it? Oh no! Whoa! That was close. That almost killed me. But whatever. We just need to beat the time. And that's pretty much really it. Jeez. Wow, if that short is that without that shortcut there, that would be. Congratulations, Spongebob! You beat my best time! Here's a spatula! There we go. That's going to be the best time. Boom. And we are finished with Thunder Hill. Now, you all must be hit. Wow, I'm just getting some, some, of, those, some of those guys some pains. Alright. Back to Ski Lodge. Because now we got one more slope left to go. And it's bound to be the most difficult of them all. Strange how the guy didn't respond over there. So, what could possibly be the last slope we need to do in the area? Well, I'll tell you what it is, but first, make the volume a little bit louder. We're going to Sand Mountain. The actual Sand Mountain. You know Fine. So, what dangers lurk on Sand Mountain? The legit Sand Mountain. Cave. So, this is Sand Mountain. The cave of ultimate destiny. I'm built for speed with this aerodynamic physique. But I'll give you a golden spatula if you can beat my time. I'm sorry, Larry, but the answer is no. You have to wait your turn. So yeah, Larry is the champion of Sand Mountain. But it's busy to take care of. First of all... Hey, Sandy! Hi, Larry! See, you always find out if we can do the time attacks, but first things first, we're going to use something real quick. First of all, jump up here. Oh, where are we up here anyway? Alright, 
a sock. All right. Now, there's the reason why I'm just standing in SpongeBob. And, yeah, you might have guessed it was that, it's that Texas platform up there. All right, so go up here. Let's swing over here. Be careful. Okay, here is slippery. And there's robots. Yeah, beware of that guy and his holding missiles. Boom, got him. Sock gotten. One more to go. And that's where Sandy's only used for the area. I think the other side was Sandy, but. Let's do a SpongeBob because. We have to do this slow bit SpongeBob anyway. No time attack. I'm pretty sure this is the dead channel, so. Short cut. Alright. So we know the drill. Down slow one time. Be the roads there. And you know what? Let's just get the sock. Boom! They got crushed. What we do is follow the snowball. Towards. Where's it going? A wall. A secret passage. That I failed to jump over onto. How is that fair? I was going to press A again. What the heck? That was not fair game. I was going to press A again. Are you kidding me? It's not there. Oh, God. This is the hazard. Snowballs are falling everywhere. Oh boy. Now there's flower team jump over. Is there more? Yep, there's more alright. Alright, almost there. Just a little more. Alright, now here goes the parts that you can get a lot of shinies from. The nearest paths and the all of T's on them. You aim for the paths with a lot of T's to get a lot of shiny objects. So you this one. Ah, uh, yeah. Okay. Let's do drill first. Go drill. Some things come out the, you know, from under the ice. Sorry, thousands first. Robots. Come on. There we go. Is that all of them? It's all of them. Boom. Boom. Mission accomplished. And that's the end of that section of Sand Mountain. Good job for us. Yes. That far of Sand Mountain. Now it's time to get that last sock. Now let's get that last sock. And then head over to Larry. Let's do that last sock again. 
This time, let's get the sock. Not complete Mr. Jump and have to start it all over. Come on. Oh, what? What the heck was that? This is the result. Um. What's that visible bear right there? Oh, so we're going to slow again, or is it just me? I am just noticing things today. Oh, Alright. Let's not mess up, because if we mess up, we're not going to do so good in the final time trial. Alright. Here we go again. This time, we get the snowball, and we have to go after wants it to go to, and then we jump twice. Not jump, not die before we do our second jump. There we go. So, here you find rare sign objects, like this, but I messed up because why did I mess up? Because basically, on that path is something very important. Now, unfortunately, I died, so I had to do it all over again. Okay. Once we get the sock. New time trial. Alright. One more sock to go in this area. Yes, it's the last sock. Alright. Okay. Try this again. Boom. Oh my god. I have just heard these people constantly. By trying and trying to get that one sock. Ugh. Sorry, Dad. apparently the volume is not. Ugh. Come on! Alright, sorry about that, guys. Apparently, some interference is trying to say I'm too loud. But what the heck? I'm trying to you guys hear the volume. That's all I'm trying to do. Anyway, there we go. Last sock is ours. All socks in the area have been collected. We're almost done. Socks. The game. Essentially, there's a total, there's a total of eight sex slots for per section. And Patrick is going special is for every ten socks we have for him. So, and it's 80, it's 80, and yeah, that's how many socks Patrick can get to us. Alright, here we go again. Alright, here we go. Victory. Okay, now. The time challenge! Alright, Larry. Time to challenge your time. I'm the fastest there is. My time down this slope is unbeatable. I'll give you a golden spatula if you can beat my time. You say it's a beat boys, Larry? Well... Let's see how we do. Huh. It's very strange. Why is this pub use the downtown Neon theme for her time trial? Well, we have to hear this awesome theme for everyone else. I mean, seriously. Really. Maybe she's not as awesome as the other characters are. There's a bow buddy. There's... Larry, and... Yeah. Seriously. Okay. Come 
mind you. Don't have to cross gas for three guts. No idea. Alright. So. Essentially, the. The shy uh, the rear shy can give you a hint as to what you need to do for a shortcut, so. Yeah. That's the one thing you want to know about that shortcut. It's that basically, yeah, the reverse I just give you a hint as to what the shortcut is. So yeah, Sand Mountain isn't really that hard. If you think about it. If anything, it's gotta be Flower Hill. That's a lot harder. Alright, no combos, but, but again, I, we are pretty much done this slope. If you stay alive! Alright, almost there, almost there. Mission accomplished. Alright, folks, we're done Sand Mountain. Well, this kid's game, so it's not going that Congratulations, SpongeBob. You beat my fist time. Here's a spatula. Thank you, Larry. And that's pretty much it for Sand Mountain. Not just this slope, but the area. All the types collected, all stocks collected. And yeah. Larry's so buff, apparently. Again, well, for a bunch. Okay. Let's go see Squidward, because we gotta leave the area, go to the roads, clear it out of all the slopes. We're about ready to host the next hub. There are bombs. Review. See carnage. Oh yeah. Monsters Carnage. Okay. That's the word. Oh, Bang Neptune, you did it! Now I can go get my equipment and see in peace. Hooray. Yeah, okay. What's happening next? Actually, I think that Patrick borrowed your equipment. Wait. Patrick? Patrick? What the heck? What? Who said he can do that? Uh oh. I did. I figured if you didn't know, you wouldn't mind. Again. Oh, SpongeBob. Wouldn't mind? Of course I mind! It's only the most expensive skiing equipment you can buy! And what does Patrick want with that stuff anyway? He doesn't even know how to ski. Wait, what? I want the warp now! Uh-oh. I want the warp now! Oh my god. Say, where is Patrick anyway? Is he stuck in the mountains somewhere? Anything else to say, Patrick Stewart? I'm calling the moving company tomorrow. I'm calling. I'm. I'm calling the moving company tomorrow. I'm calling the moving company tomorrow. Okay. Well. Okay. I got a taxi. You got the moving department. Pfft. Makes no sense. All right, folks. So. Next time on Let's Pick Out Game Bottom, we could go to the next hub, but we still have business at the tree dome. So we're gonna do that first, and then off the hub number three, following another hub boss. So next time, we're gonna face another hub boss. Alright? Good. We'll see you guys next time. Later, folks.